Hello, my art-loving friends. Well, it is that time of year when a lot of us are gearing up for a month-long art challenge, and for me, that is Inktober. I have participated in Inktober for the last four years, and all of my previous Inktober videos are still applicable, so I will link the playlist for you in the corner, plus the actual prep videos down in the description box below because everything in them I think you could still get some really useful information out of. However, I just have a few small tips to add for you this year and I will try and be brief. So the first year I participated in Inktober, I made sure that I had a theme and for me that was very important that year. It kept me motivated and it just made me excited to keep going on the next prompt. And because that was so successful for me, the following year, 2019, I also had a theme. So my first year's theme was the motorcycles, as you'll see in the video here, and the second year's theme was all old cars and trucks. In 2020, the big controversy hit about Jake and Inktober, and I wasn't sure I was going to participate. However, I did choose to at the very last minute, and all I did was random drawings based on the prompt with no theme or anything like that. And that one was a little bit harder to stay motivated for. So what I found for me is having some kind of goal, some end goal or some theme to keep me going throughout the entire challenge is what works for me. Some people can do the random prompts at any time and just have drawings that don't even relate to each other. And I think that can be fun too, but for me it didn't work as well. I struggled a little bit last year trying to come up with a theme, but after some thought, I did finally come up with my cat theme, and that was really fun because then at the end, I felt like I could make it into a coloring book and offer to you guys and we could have coloring challenges and stuff. I'm still working on that. It's a, an ongoing process, but I did just finish up the rest of the 19 pages in this sketchbook for a 10-hour sketchbook challenge, which I will link in the corner for you as well. So for 2022, I have come up with this idea where I'm going to do one huge drawing, <laughs> huge, and I mean huge, probably 18 by 24, the smallest, it might be 22 by 30, and it's going to be like one big house or one big castle, because every single word in here I can picture in a house or a castle scene. And I'm really excited and kind of nervous about it, but that's going to keep me going, and I have Ah, so many ideas with these already, so I'm very much looking forward to it. So in reality, all you need for Inktober is a pencil, a good eraser, and a fine liner. But you might get bored with just the fine liner, so you can get out all your fine liners and brush pens and any of that that you want to use for inking. If you keep it simple, it's easier to keep doing it. So grab your supplies and then my tip to you would be have some kind of theme or some end goal in mind that will keep you going day after day after day after 31 days. <laughs> All right, I wish you the best of luck in your Inktober or Drawtober or Drawloween or whatever challenge you choose to do in October. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hello, my art-loving friends. Well, it is that time of year when everyone is gearing up for a very long was doing so good. <laughs> I have participated in Inktober for the last four years and I have a few tips that are... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They're all... We want treats. What did you give them? Like frosting? Yeah. <laughs>